Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4. We are here with some special little boy. It is Pine's birthday, baby Pine. So he is actually going to be growing up pretty soon. And that is very exciting. So he is about to turn into a child. And I actually got the notification that popped up and said, it's almost Pine's birthday. So today is actually the day he's supposed to be growing up anyway. We are gonna be making him a birthday cake and celebrating his birthday in just a minute. As soon as his parents can get their hands off each other. Apparently, and I figured it out, Iris wants to be known for her flirty paintings. She is always rolling the wand to paint flirty paintings. She is always feeling flirty from the emotional aura of her previous flirty paintings. And I figure she wants to be a, a specialist in flirty paintings. So why not? We're going to go ahead and let her become a specialist in flirty paintings. It'll be what she pretty much makes the most of. But she and Tate are feeling a little distracted this morning. Tate has had this want to kiss Iris. Iris has had uh, this want to woohoo with Tate. So I was thinking since it is their son's birthday, perhaps we'll give this uh, whole have a baby thing a second try. So we're gonna go ahead and try for baby again on Pine's birthday, because you know, that's a good time to become pregnant with the second child, if such a uh, event is going to happen. All right, so they're gonna go ahead and work on that. And Pine's just gonna sit there and be an oblivious baby. <laughs> well, Lily is actually upstairs and she has been chatting with Zoe, her girl Zoe, for quite a while. They have been chatting and chatting and chatting away on the computer possibly talking about how like Lily just got promoted and how that makes her so happy. Where on earth? I can hear the romantic music going on downstairs. So yeah, Zoe and her romance are, are going just fine, but we do need to have a little bit of a relaxed day. Today is a relaxed day for Lily. She's just gonna have a good time. Uh, are we done down there? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so we're done down here. Iris is satisfied. And she has work at 8 today. So she's about to leave for work. We're going to have her go in late because I want to grow Pine up. In fact, I think, yeah, Iris, we're just going to have you go in a little bit late today if, if she goes now. I wish there was like an option, skip work for the day. Like I could just click on that and let her, let her skip work. Can we call in to work? And be like, yeah, we're not coming today. Don't yell at us about it. Travel with. No, we'll just make sure that she stays home from work for a while and maybe send her in late. But Iris, you go ahead, wake up. Um, maybe have some breakfast. Who has the highest cooking skill in the house? All right. Three, five, four. Date. Guess what, date? Wake up. What is this? Kiss Iris. Change your outfit. Change into every day. Get over here and make your son's birthday cake. So let's see, we are going to cook and we're going to make uh, a chocolate cake. We're gonna make a little chocolate cake and then we're gonna put we're gonna put little candles on it and that's gonna be the wee one's birthday cake. Okay, Iris, if we can get the birthday done in an hour, that would be amazing. Change outfit every day. There you go. Uh, and we're gonna have her, she's gonna make another flirty painting while we wait. And we have so much money after Lily actually wanted to have some fun. Oh, she's still talking with Zoe. She is just chatting away. Lily, come on, focus. She's gonna continue expanding her fuel storage tank outside to hopefully have some fun. Tate, how goes the birthday cake? Ooh, he is happy from completely satisfying woohoo. Oh, I guess that means we need to have Iris actually take a pregnancy test like right now to find out if she's pregnant. Totally forgot about that. Oh my. Well, there's some problems going on in here. Hey, Iris. Why don't you come try out the pregnancy test thing real quick? Tate, for crying out loud, didn't I tell you to put on your normal clothes? This boy, he just wants to live in his bathrobe, I swear. All right, but the cake is done! Yay! So we can do this just in time if we do this right. No, ah, there you go, okay, freaking. All right, go every day. And then Iris is having her pregnancy test. Lily, come inside. Uh, Tate, grab the baby. <laughs> okay, there we go. So much stuff going on. Okay, add birthday candles. Look at the cute little cake. Tate, why are you sitting down? Oh my gosh, look at the cute little birthday cake. It's not your birthday, Tate. He's like, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. No, go get your son. 
Iris can still leave for work on time if we do this right. Don't you dare blow those candles out. How do we... How do we bring the baby to the... Can we not bring the baby? Can we not bring the baby to the cake? Oh, Iris is satisfied from a satisfying woohoo too. Okay, so I guess we can't drag the child over here to the cake. Huh. Taste frosting, remove candles. Okay, we're gonna remove the candles. Never mind. And it's just a normal birthday cake then. Um, and we'll just grow baby pine up right now. More choices, age up. <gasps> Meeting for two! Congratulations! Iris is expecting. There is going to be a new addition to this household. Oh my gosh, Iris is expecting! <laughs> Look how happy she is. She's like, yay! I'm throwing confetti. <laughs> She's in this, this bathroom with this sink that is busted. There's confetti raining down into the puddle growing at her feet. And she is now expecting baby number two. That is hilarious. She's already feeling morning sick about it, too. She's like, oh, dear. Hmm. Pine green is becoming a child. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> so much awesome at once. Pine aged up. Childhood. Boundless creativity. Rule breaking and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. Select a trait and a childhood aspiration. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so pick an aspiration. This is pine green. Wow. Lily and Tate's first child. Is he going to be a whiz kid? Is he going to be a social butterfly, an artistic prodigy, or a rambunctious scramp, scrap? So let's see. Um, I'm going to roll. I'm actually going to roll for this. So yeah, because I love rolling for my Sims aspirations. I would say that any of these could work. So we're going to go one through four. If I roll something on the dice that isn't that, then I'll roll again. Yep, roll to six. There we go. Three. So he's going to be a social butterfly. And I think that's okay because he, he takes after his dad that way. So I'm actually really okay with that. Because in my mind, social butterfly means he'd take after his daddy. So that's fine. And we got to pick a trait for him. <gasps> he's definitely going to love the outdoors, just like his dad. He's like a mini Tate. Go! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pine, let's get a good look at you. Who do you look like? <gasps> he has his mother's hair and his father's blue eyes, and he's pretty darn gorgeous, actually. Look at him. Pine, you are so cute, and you're gonna be a big brother soon. Oh my gosh, let's get him in a new outfit. I can't believe this, I can't believe this. Pine, look at you. He wants to make a new friend. He's a little tired. He's a social butterfly. He wants to meet 10 new sims. Oh, I'll get two skills to level two, attend school while energized. Ah, he's got all sorts of levels. Oh my gosh, motor skill, mental skill, creativity, social. He's got his friends. Oh my gosh, he's got grade school homework already. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to do his homework this weekend. Pine! Yeah, 52 days is way too long to keep you a child. No way. But we're going to have fun. In fact, I think I realized that Tate is still like a young adult. <laughs> so we're going to change out of the epic later. But oh my goodness, Iris is expecting another baby. Holy moly days. Um, so she's expecting another baby. Pine has now grown up. He has his mom's hair color. Totally doesn't look like his dad, except he has his dad's eyes. Wow. Okay, Tate. Um, boast about family. Hug. Hug your son. He's like, son? He's like already giving the... the, the ah! He's already having to give some facts of life. He has his aunt's cheekbones. Those are Lily's cheekbones for sure. They're very dramatic. Oh, they're so sweet. And Tate is so happy. Family time. He wants to enthuse about the outdoors. Enthuse about the outdoors to your daddy. That's perfect. Oh, and Iris is already off at work. Just like that. She's gone. <laughs> Lily, meanwhile, is enjoying that birthday cake. That is hilarious. Lily is just soaking that cake up. That's fine. That's awesome of you, Lily. So now Pine Green has acquired the social skill. 
He can now use the press to talk on talking toys. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. We need to get him a new outfit though. So come on, Pine. Um, you're gonna come stand in this dirty water and we're gonna change your appearance. And then your dad's gonna fix that sink. And yeah, I think Tate is actually going to take his son out. Ah, dang it, take a piece. Lily, you weren't supposed to clean that. Lily, we'll let her come. She is so bored, poor girl. Let's let her use her telescope, or her telescope, her microscope, because that makes her pretty happy. Lily's gonna come use her microscope for a little while. And meanwhile, this little scrap who is talking to himself, social butterfly, we're gonna get him changed into a new outfit. He's so tired. <gasps> here we go. Laura. All right, here we are. Hi, little guy. You have your mother's face and your aunt's cheekbones, your father's eyes, your mother's hair color, and we're gonna get him a new outfit. I have not actually looked at the kid outfits yet, so this is really exciting. Let's pick you out something. Oh, that's cute. That goes with his blue eyes too. I like it, I like it. Looking good. How are the pants doing? Do we have any, any like darker colors that we could put on you? Maybe some black ones, some gray ones. That looks pretty nice. He is really cute. I'm actually super excited to see him turn. Look at that little smirk. Pine, I am in love with him. I didn't expect to like fall this quickly and deeply in love with this kid, but I am already totally in love with him. Actually, those green shoes are so cool. He's like, yeah, I like green and accents because my name's Pine. Um, and that's such a kid thing to like have clothes that don't 100% match, but we're gonna make him wear wear these ones. Just well, we'll we'll let him be a kid and just like have slightly mismatching outfits. Look at that little smirk. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. I love his hair. What would it look like? So he got he has his mom's hair. I feel like it needs to be a little darker. So I hope that's okay. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Because his mom's hair color is actually this hair color, not this hair color. And this is what... Oh, if you look just like his daddy like this, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, but we'll be fair, because he came out with brown hair. So we'll have brown hair, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And I love I love this little mohawk thing that he's got going on here. Do we, do we give you some little accessories? Oh, look at that. He could have like... Oh, like his dad gave him a little a little fish tooth thing. That is so cool. That's his lucky charm from his dad. It's a fish necklace from his daddy. That is so staring. All right. Actually, my boy, I just realized we need to see what you have on the rest of the day. So what's your formal outfit? Uh-uh. We're going to change this a little bit. Let's see. Let's give you black pants. And what kind of shirt? It's not a bad shirt. Just I'm sure there's a better one. But for formal... Formal events. I mean, he's a little kid, you know? Hmm. Actually, that's much nicer for formal events. What kind of shoes? Come on, we're, we're being nice and formal. Do you not have any socks on under there? Come on. You gotta put socks on if you're gonna wear those kinds of things. There. That's better. So here's his formal outfit. What about his athletic? <gasps> Look at that little turtle! Is there a turtle on each one? Nope, that's the only one with a turtle. Totally approve of the turtle choice there, Pine. Oh, so cute. I really actually haven't looked at these at all. Um, the green ones again. Let's do this one. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Getting better. All right, sleep outfits. There's that. I like things with a little bit more color to them. What about... Yeah, that's more subdued. Like, this is more what I would think he would wear for sleep. What? No, you are not wearing that to a party. Are you... Oh, no. No, you've got your dad's sense of... Oh, oh so they mean, like, costume-ish party things, huh? Yeah, I don't know. You're a little kid. Oh, you do have a suit. What? That should be your formal wear. What are you talking about? Okay. But for a party as a little kid... What would I let him wear? Um, ooh, actually, come on, this is like a really cool, Oh, there's a little paw print on that one. And put on some pants. <laughs> oh, I love the variety of stuff you can put on your sims. It just cracks me up. All right, what about 
there. What about here? There we go. Getting a little better. Alright. We've got to get that hat off of him, though. Oh my gosh. Alright, there's those. Next up for party. Wear a few extra things. There's that and that. Do you have your little, like, necklace doodad? Accessories. Accessories. I guess that would be... Okay, come here. We've got to take this off. It's not happening. You're cute enough as it is. You're cute enough as it is, Pine, but you can wear... We'll let him wear his, like, lucky shark necklace with everything. Including, like, to bed. I don't care. He gets to wear his lucky fish tooth everywhere because his dad gave it to him. Absolutely everywhere. It's like his thing. There we go. It's hidden under his sweater there. The only time he can't wear it is at formal, but it totally fits for being in the swimming pool and having swimwear. That's good swimwear, except the shoes. Let's change the shoes up a little bit. There we go. All right, there you go. It's little pine. It's pine. Oh, he's cute. Jeez. All right, so he's good to go. Let's go back. And there he is, the little cutie. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for him to be able to get out and about and explore the world, go meet people. I want him and his dad to go on a little fishing adventure over at the Oasis Springs Park where that cowberry is supposed to be hiding. But he's really tired, so we're going to let him go ahead. Kind of use, use the bathroom. Oh, and then we need to give him a bed. Oh, it's so exciting. We have to add a little bed in here for him real quick. Okay. And actually, I think we need to move that that uh, giraffe. So giraffe, we're going to have to have a talk in a little bit. This room feels so childish now for him. Like, it's got the mobile and everything. No, nope, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of this light. Well, the kid's ceiling light. Nope. It's, it, we're getting rid of that, too. He just seems like such a, a cool kid already. And he wants to be cool, because I imagine a social butterfly would have a little bit more pressure to kind of be one of those really cool kids, you know what I mean? This is a neat bed. The Eminence. Kind of a grown-up bed for a little kid, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we can base the room around that theme. Speaking of which, I think we need to make the room a little bit bigger. So goodbye, extra window. And hello. Hello, a little bit more room. Okay. How, how did that affect the upstairs? Not badly. I don't think we put a roof there anyway. <laughs> I think we were going to turn that into kind of like a patio thing. So we'll just leave that there for now. Let's take out this window. Pine, pine, pine. Got our little boy, pine. And he's going to be a big brother soon. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. All right. And then we'll go ahead and move the toys over here, I think. To have like a little toy corner. And some of his mom's cool paintings can be scattered around. There we go. What about, like, can we put this little guy here? Let's put him here. There we go. That's a little better. Can I get this turned? Uh, We'll just leave him in the corner like this. Yeah, like that. Okay, and let's turn the draft. Can I turn the draft? Ugh. Okay, we'll turn the draft like that. We want to give it a little bit of a lived-in look, you know what I mean? And then let's pop over, grab that awesome bed. Is there a better style? Uh, I kind of, I still want it to be a kid's bed, you know? But I want him to have a really nice bed because we can afford it right now. So there's that. Let's change the walls up a little bit. Build. And wall patterns. Hmm. It doesn't need to be like... Wait, get over here. Let's go with super plain. And we'll decorate it. That's what we'll do. We'll make it kind of super plain looking. And now let's go grab a rug. Little rug for the little guy. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Decorations. Rugs. Ooh, and then we need to see if there's like some sort of really cool kids thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. The happy family rug. Are you kidding me? That's so going down. Yep, that's 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 perfect for this area. And I think there's like some really cool things that he can have as a child now that I think about it. Let's see. Little decorative toys. Kids furniture. 
Uh, toys. Yeah. Like, modern life. Doll house. You can have this little bleep robot dude. There's some clay that he can play with. I hear that can be pretty fun. Uh, ooh! <gasps> Junior wizard starter set! Oh, that looks like something his aunt would get him. Are you kidding me? Creative art thou activity table. Oh, his mom would insist on that. And then, like, the child's violin and the true prodigy child's violin. I think what we're gonna do is we are going to actually sell the dresser because we never really use the dressers. And we are going to get... Can we get this this cool thing? Can't intersect. Uh, scooch up, little painting. Come here, you. Scoot up. Okay, we're gonna put that here because I totally think that has to happen. I'm gonna sell that little toy, and I just think his mom would like insist on a creativity table. How can we fit this in that room? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Iris would totally insist on a creativity table. I want, this room is so not big enough for all the toys and things I want to put in it. Oh, let's get a little shelf. A little shelf would be able to, like, let us be able to put more stuff up. So let's go ahead. Surfaces. And we're going to snag. That's a good shelf. No, let's try this one. The real stick wall shelf. No, let's try reclaimed plank shelf. This one? Ah, uh, not bad. Not bad, actually. I like that reclaimed plank shelf. Let's put a couple of them up. Can I scoot this one over? Yeah, let's go ahead and scoot that one over. And then we'll put some toys up. Can I put toys up? No? What? What? Ugh. Ah! Okay. Goodbye, little toy. And we'll leave this there so we can decorate it with stuff like crystals and cool things. So there we go! Pine has his own little decorated room and we're gonna have to try it out. I'm so excited. Oh, we need to give him some light for sure. Poor kid. He definitely needs some light. I know we can put some of these up there. So he needs to go to school feeling energized, huh? Thank you. Focusing decor, inspiring, playful, environment, inspiring, confident, romantic, confident, playful, focusing. Um, let's just have a normal, let there be plums, bub. Can I put you up here? No? Why can I put nothing on these shelves? Useless shelves. Useless. Alright, fine. We won't put one of those up. We will just put a normal, normal ceiling lamp. Ooh, let's do the Astro Solar Light ceiling lamp, actually. Another gift from Aunt Lily, of course. And then we'll have one of these cool ones over here. There we go. I'm happy now. There we go. So we're going to have to let Little Pine have a nap. And then once he's energized, we're going to take him out on a daddy date. And they can go to fish over at Oasis Springs and hopefully snag the cow plant berry. And then hopefully Little Pine will have a chance to meet lots of other kids, lots of other cool people. Come on, little guy. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. So we're gonna let him get some rest. It's hard work growing up, but he's here, you guys. Pine is here. I'm so happy. 